What's that, my child? It's your boy Joker Baby, and you rocking with Nolazine. This episode is brought to you by the Loyalty Club, one of the hottest brands out where they keep their items limited and only for the loyal few. Check us out online at theloyaltyclub.us or if you're in the New Orleans area, you can check us out at our flagship store, 841 Fulton Street. You already know what time it is. Only for the loyal few club time. All right, so um, tell the world, actually, I mean, where you from? I'm from the West Bank, but um, I spent some time across the river, but not for long, though, but... I'm from the West Bank. And so for the people who don't know, he's talking about the West Bank of New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. So like growing up for yourself, I'm like, who influenced you to actually become one I'm like music artist? Uh I have to say Michael Jackson. I I listened to a lot of Michael Jackson growing up and um he was the one who I like really liked and still like to this day. Like Michael Jackson, my favorite artist ever. Uh, so what's your first on like Michael Jackson song that you heard and you was like, man, I'm a big fan? I don't even know. I really don't know. That's hard. That's hard. Yeah. Uh, and my first song was, my first song in video was actually, I'm like Thriller. And mm-hmm. like, hey, but I couldn't watch it because I was actually kind of scared of uh-huh. it. But I'm like, damn, he kind of dope. Man, I can't even tell you what's the first Michael Jackson song that I heard. I really don't know. I just always liked Michael Jackson, and I always wanted to see Michael Jackson. Oh, uh, so what's your actually? I'm like favorite Michael Jackson song. I don't have a favorite. All of them. See. Yeah, all of them. Okay. But not now, now the music that he started putting out closer to once he died. I don't like it. Oh, yeah. Hey, but I think like a lot of people as they age up, like you, every day music kind of. Fall it, like off. dies to like you know mm-hmm. some of the audience mm-hmm. because because people want you to kind of like stay the way on like that you was right mm-hmm. and like I just heard like probably two days ago it was like I'm like Meek Mill was a rapper and like mm-hmm. he still sound the same from twelve years ago I'm like mm-hmm. I can't be a fan of nothing that you I feel like you rapped that already right uh huh I feel like with Meek yeah yeah his 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 older music harder than what it is now like he just saying stuff now. But I heard him say something that I think he said like 10 years ago. Like, <laughs> uh-huh. I'm like, you can't keep rapping about, you know, I just pulled up in the bins and got, you know, I got two. Like, uh-huh. It's the same thing you rap about that you rap for. Like, you know, it be like, what's new? Right. It, uh-huh. it be like, how much money you got? Like, right. let us know something new going on with you. Uh-huh. Right. Gotcha, yeah, that makes sense. So, you know, every time someone say Michael Jackson, the art, I mean, favorite artist, I like to tell people, who do you think? Is the closest music artist to Chris Brown? All right, because I was about to say, you know, between Usher, Bruno Mars, and Chris Brown, but you know, I feel like it's Chris Brown. Yeah, yeah, it's Chris Brown. Chris oh, Brown. So why my, do you feel like Chris Brown? Why I feel like Chris Brown? It's like why you feel like Chris Brown is like the closest thing that people ever seen actually to Michael Jackson. I feel like um, he an entertainer. Like he's the closest entertainer to. Michael Jackson, like nobody moved the way he moved, you know, like on the stage and stuff like that. Like I don't think nobody could really replicate Michael Jackson the way Chris Brown do. Right. I actually did a one um, Chris Brown concert in the Smoothie King Center, and Chris Brown told us that he don't need anything. He don't need like all he needs is a stage and his dancers. Right, and mm-hmm. dude, dude was doing backflips and everything. Just he. Ain't, like he didn't practice, he didn't, he didn't like, if he didn't come for sound check, he just came mm-hmm. as he is, and he and he killed it. Man, that dude cold, bro. Like, like I can't take nothing away from like, Chris Brown. Like, if like Fifty Cent say, I never seen Michael Jackson do a backflip, land on one feet, and still dance at the same time. I that never too. Seen that before. I I considered <laughs> that too. I I thought is Chris Brown better than Michael Jackson in that way, just dancing wise. I think well. I think they both what and what, but the thing is, I think it would it would, would always I'm um, gonna hinder Chris Brown is the, the, the situation with yeah. Rihanna, and also he don't have it, but the Quincy Jones is mm-hmm. in, in his corner, right? Uh huh. Yeah, he uh, and like Michael Jackson has some big people in his corner, but people right. don't really speak on like you know, and and I kind of hate to like compare people from back in the day to now because mm-hmm. it, because it's not the same. 
Mm-hmm. It, it, like, you know, every, like Chris Brown grew up in one, I'm like CD area, mm-hmm. kind of, I'm streaming now. Like, you know, and like Michael Jackson, it was in a whole different like era where you really had to go physically. Right. Like, see him, you had to really pay for like albums and different things like right. that. Right. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. we, uh, I was in, I was in Sharon Rock the other day. And um, I was talking to somebody about, uh, cause I, cause I think they said something about Beyonce, but they, but I was like, who you think, who, who you think more talented, Chris Brown or Beyonce? And the girl was like, Beyonce. I was like, you out your mind, talent wise. Do you think Beyonce, Beyonce is talented, but not more talented like Chris Brown? And guess what the crazy part is? I just. Really told myself something. I'm like, Chris Brown is talented in everything. He right. Mm-hmm. He just did a rap diss. And On it Quavo? was fire. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, he could play basketball. Any, any sports, he could do anything. He can draw. Like, yeah, it's like he could do so much. He could be, a, like, any way go do with a one. He, mm-hmm. he could be a fashion designer. He just could do everything. Mm-hmm. And like, yeah, but that's rare. Right. That mm-hmm. you can find someone that could do everything. Right. So, you know, but to moving on from Chris Brown and everybody <laughs> like that, how did you come up? I'm like, what's your music name? Uh, now nah, that's a funny story. So, 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 what you think about when you think, like, when you hear of the Joker? I'm um, Batman. <laughs> no, like, uh, like of him, like the Joker. Like, what's your first? Like, hey, but the character, the Joker, yeah, uh-huh. or the cards? No, the character. Uh-huh. You know, everybody played different versions of the Joker. Mm-hmm. Hey, but the yeah, but the best one was probably like ten years ago when the guy actually died after playing him. Mm-hmm. But like, the Joker is a is a lot of different like mm-hmm. <laughs> personalities. So, so like a lot of people say the Joker, he crazy. But when I first started doing music, like a lot of people was like saying, "Man, you crazy for doing that?" Like you know what I'm saying? Like it was like, "Nah, you crazy? Nah, no, no, don't do that." But then. The other side of the Joker being crazy, he actually, like, smart. Like, he a mastermind. So once I started doing music and people really started to listen to me, they was like, man, he a genius. Like, like yeah, like, that's nice. So it's a, a play on the name. I say, the, like, the Joker is for that part, but the Joker baby part, like, the baby part, that been my nickname since I was a little boy. My people still call me baby, so that I just put it. Hey, up. But they didn't get it from Birdman, huh? No, I, <laughs> no, I was. I'm the real baby. If it's your original, yeah. if it's your original, yeah, I'm I'm the OG baby. <laughs> hey, because Birdman said that if they called him baby because he came from the hospital and he had no name, so everybody no, called him I, baby. No, my mom and them said that to me too. They said they didn't have a name for me for like I think two days. So so the name on the love, like you know the thing where you see the baby, it was like baby. Hey, so let's explain it. Come on. And so let's talk about that story. Like, you know, and so your mom just said, you know, as soon as you was born, you know, she didn't have no name for you. Mm-hmm. So, like, I want to hear the full story of, like, what, what, like, what happened? Like, you know, she didn't have no baby shower or, like, nothing like that? No, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, did nobody never asked her the name of the baby? I, I don't know. That's, that's what she told me, but she probably was playing. I don't know. Think she was but, Joseph? I think I, I don't know. I don't know. I I can't tell with her. <laughs> I can't for real. She just like me. Gotcha. So, so I'm like, how old were you? Even when the first time you said to yourself, "Hey, but man, I'm about to become one." I'm like music artist. Man, that had. I was maybe twenty, twenty one, because my whole life I I I wanted to be in the NFL. I was playing football and stuff like that. And then once I had came back from school, because I was leaving the school that I was, you know, playing at, because I ain't like I ain't like how they was operating over there. So so once I had left there, I came home and I was supposed to be going to another school, but you know, being down here, I just got comfortable. I ain't never go back to school. And then and then uh one of my partners. He he had did a song and he sent it to us because we was all in the group chat and I was like oh where well, you recorded that and then he was like oh I recorded on this app called BandLab on my phone so I went and downloaded it 
and I made a song, let, let a couple people hear, and they was like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's nice, and stuff like that. But, you know, they still had other people that was like, man, you ain't no, like, you ain't no artist and, and stuff like that. So I just kept making songs on that, kept making songs, and that's how I just went up from there. Gotcha. So, like, and so I want to hear, they be like, what you got to say to the people who, like, you know, actually, um, like, just was, was going against you, was kind of mm -hmm. doubting you, like, you ain't no artist. Mm -hmm. And so what you got to say to them right now? You see me now, huh? You see me now, huh? <laughs> now, I mean, yeah, that's all I could really say. I mean, still, at the end of the day, even though, even though, they, tap, even though they was like, man, you ain't no artist, man, you ain't no artist, they still was listening to my songs. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't really tripping all that because I got more people, I got more people that's encouraging me than people telling me to stop. But you know what they say, like, if, if people hating on you, you're doing something right. So I ain't really tripping off that. Gotcha. So, you know, as far as being a music artist, do you, I'm um, like, consider yourself being one, I'm like, rapper or one, I'm like, singer? It's funny you ask me that because when people ask me that, I, I tell them I'm not, I'm not both of them. I'm an artist. Gotcha. Hey, that's a good answer. That's what you're supposed to say. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, I'm like, when did you actually, I'm like, discover, I'm like, that you actually, I'm like, can sing? When I started uh, doing it, like, well, well, like since I was since I was in school, people always told me that I could sing, but I wouldn't say that I'm like like a great singer. Like, you know what I'm saying? I could hold a note. Auto tune really helped. I I don't use a lot of auto tune, but I use it to clean a lot of stuff up. If that makes sense. Gotcha. Because you know, but we just posted you. I mean, my daughter's like. I'm like, is that Chris Brown? So I ain't know if you've been singing mm -hmm. or you with the vocal class or anything like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. So like, you know, hey, but for the people who don't know if you can sing or not, like raw, I want you to, you know, I want you to hit something right now for him. Oh man, <laughs> I don't think. Hey, no, but that's the thing too. I think I feel more comfortable with auto tune when I'm singing. Hey, but then only just doing it. Yeah, the then just doing it, just like raw, if that makes sense. Right. Hey, but acapella is what it's called. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. acapella. To say it better than, than raw. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my bad. Just raw. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, I'm just saying for the people who are, you know, mm -hmm. thinking my like, bad. oh, what? Think about raw. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm like, what's the average day like for you? Um, Average day. Like when I'm not working? It was just an average day like for you. Oh, yeah. Uh... I I wake up in the morning, I'll probably go to work, come back home, and then and then and once I come back home, I'll just I'll just record. Like I really record nine times out of ten every day. If if not every day, every other day. Cause I don't know. Like I feel like I got like like if I hear hear a beat that I like. I just have to like get on it because like I be thinking about stuff all day, whether it's you know music stuff or it's just life in general. But then I'll just I'll just say what I'm thinking on a song, really, if that makes sense. Gotcha. So, do you have any brand new music coming up? Like, have any features, anything like that? Oh, of course. Uh, I got. Man, man, I, I got so much music, it's crazy, but I don't want to drop too much. Like, you know what I'm saying? I want to drop certain stuff at, like, the right time. So, so certain stuff I'm doing, like, 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 if I was to record a song today, and if I really liked it, then I'd be like, I want this to come out. But I'll probably wait a little bit because I still got Do You Care? out right now so i'm still trying to push do you care and then once i feel like do you care like you know old enough then i'll start planning on how i'm gonna drop a whole nother song that i did a couple months ago that i really liked or depending on if i like a song that i'll record tonight i'll just plan you know once i'm finished with you know do you care gotcha so what separates you from 
all those I'm like other music artists out there. Me personally, I feel like I feel like I feel like I could do whatever like you know these artists out here right now doing, but they can't do what I do. Like a lot of like a lot of artists, they scared to get out their comfort zone. I'm not because I like to be creative, and then I listen to, I listen to a, I listen to a lot of music, so I already have an idea of what I want to do, and then I have the voice for it. So I feel like, I feel like, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I could do I could do everything that a lot of these artists doing, but they can't do what I'm doing. Whether it's you know whether it's what they talking about, whether it's the style they doing, I could do anything that an artist could do, but they can't do what I do. Creative wise. All right, gotcha. <laughs> so being in, being with music artists for a while now, tell us what do you enjoy most about it, and tell us what do you actually I'm gonna hate about it. Uh, what I enjoy the most about it, I f I'll say, I'll, I'll say, I'll say the creative process of it, and and aside the creative process of it, I like, I like the love that that I get from it. You know what I'm saying? If I, if I want to be different in a song, and then, you know, people will notice it, be like, man, that's different. You, you know what I'm saying? I like you because you're different and stuff like that. I like that. But what I dislike from it is that a lot of people don't don't a lot of people don't notice the talent. They only notice like what people do to try to get on. Like you know what I'm saying? A lot of people they'll 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 do something stupid to try to get people attention and stuff. I don't, I don't like that. And that's not me. I'm not going to do I'm I'm not going to do certain things for people to know my name. Like, you know what I'm saying? If that if that's not in my morals, I'm not doing it. So I feel like like a lot of people that's getting noticed, they not even talented. You know what I'm saying? They just doing they just doing whatever. You know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> gotcha. So Name your top five greatest music artists of all time, and it could be I mean any genre. Ooh. Dang. Like, like it could be rapper, singer. Um It could be one one it be one pop star, lead, anything you you know, anything you like. My personal favorite. Yeah. I'll say first Michael Jackson, second Chris Brown. Third, myself. Fourth, future. Five, five. Who got number five? Five, 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 five. Mmm, five. I I have the name on the tip of my tongue, but I can't think. Five, five, five. Is he from New Orleans? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, five, five. I got I got it. Wait, future future number four. Mm, five dang. I I'll go I'll go with pop. Gotcha. So, so like, you know, I was about to make like a little small little interview about this, like I don't know what makes people top five. I'm a hip hop artist because, mm -hmm. like, I see a lot of people put I'm an Eminem in their top five, and I'm like, what makes mm -hmm. Eminem greater than even a lot of black music artists? It's not mm -hmm. races or nothing, but it's like, like, what does he do? I'm like different. Um, that makes him top five. You don't like Eminem? No, no, no. I'm not saying I don't like Eminem, oh. but if let's say me. And let's say when I put a top five artists, like, you know, five artists together, I'm thinking of artists that put out music back then and you can still listen to it now. Mm -hmm. I don't know no one riding around listening to Eminem. Right. 
like you know like like and that's the like, crazy thing. a lot of uh, like when I think of the five top artists I think of artists who make timeless music mm-hmm. like you know the Jay Z's the Lil Wayne's mm-hmm. even Drake like mm-hmm. like oh, those yeah. guys made songs ten years ago uh-huh. that you can ride around to this day and still feel that moment. Mm-hmm. Wait, 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 my bad to cut you off, but back to that other Oh, yeah, question. I knew he was going yeah, 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 to bring Drake Five Drake. Drake. Yeah, yeah. I, I totally forgot about Drake. But yeah, Drake definitely, But you know. I'm just saying, like, you know, all those artists made time this music. So, mm-hmm. like, you know, so, and so when I be hearing people got the, you know, the greatest, you know, 25 or 50, I'm like, and to me, if you're going to put anybody in the grace of tops, you got to be one of those people actually riding around listening to that person. That's the crazy thing. Like, I really... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a point because nobody, well, nobody that I know, right. like but, nobody. Yeah, but the thing also saying, you know, top five rappers and also top five music artists are two different things, right? Because mm-hmm. people don't know, like you know, because like I don't think, yeah, but the top five rappers are the greatest rappers of all time. I think they are the greatest rappers to actually, you know, put it on wax mm-hmm. because there's always people that. Probably right now sitting on the streets, who probably can rap better than all of them. Mm-hmm. Like I don't think there's no such thing as the greatest rapper. I don't think there's no such thing as the greatest rapper. That's I like do. that's like I don't think there's no such thing as the greatest football player, because you can only be great in your position, right? Uh huh. Like right. and also rap, you can only be great at your style of rap. Like mm-hmm. I don't think that Kendrick Lamar can be better than Drake. They don't rap the same style. Mm-hmm. J Cole don't rap the same style, so. Like, like, Lil Wayne don't rap the same style, so how, like, you can be great at the way you do it. It's like Future is great at the way he does it. Right. That's like singing. You, you the greatest the way you does it. Like, Chris Brown and Beyonce is like never gonna be on the same. Like, you would never compare them from their singing abilities, because you know, I'm like one of them is a woman and one of them is a man. Mm-hmm. Like, you would have to compare Chris Brown with Usher. Mm-hmm. Like you have to compare people in the same, you know, realm. Right, right. Uh huh. But that's the reason why I say I don't think there is no greatest rapper. Nah, bro. But Wayne, I don't hear how you Wayne feel about got it. Him. Right. Wayne and got so it. So why do you feel like Wayne has it, bro? Wayne, Wayne, crazy, bro. Like Wayne be saying stuff, and you'll probably catch it what he's saying, but then once you listen back on it, it's like, wait, that's what he was talking about. All right. Like I don't. Me personally, I I don't think no other rapper has done that before. I don't think no rapper has done it before and actually freestyled it. Well, yeah, that too. That's well, what um, make it even more hard that he he just be freestyling. Right. But like I started like when I was young, I didn't like Jay Z. But mm-hmm. the older I got, I'm like, dang, he really was talking about stuff he was doing, and he talked about some futuristic stuff mm-hmm. that he made happen. Like he's talking facts. Right. So I'm like. He should be like, you know, he yeah, he he got to be top five. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just Jay, saying, like, Jay definitely top five. I'm just saying just five. the way he did it. Like, uh-huh. you know, because he's speaking facts. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of these rappers who rap about stuff that they never had or did. Right. Jay-Z was really rapping. Like, he really was riding in it when he had it. Mm-hmm. At that time, he really was doing it. So, it's like, I, so I give Jay-Z like a one up on a lot of people mm-hmm. as I got older. But I didn't like Jay-Z when I was younger. Like, like Jay-Z. <laughs> Like uh-huh. I was mad juvenile put Jay Z on his album. That's what? how much I didn't like Jay Z. Oh dang! But the older I got, the like as becoming one full adult, I'm like, man, dude, really rapping. Mm-hmm. Dude, really like talking stuff. He living. Mm-hmm. That's like you know, I always get in debate about Tupac. Tupac's a great rapper, mm-hmm. but Tupac lived a persona that wasn't wasn't fully him. Right. Uh huh. That's what always make me like I don't know. Mm-hmm. But. I think Tupac was a great rap actor. Mm-hmm. He can act the way he rapping about. <laughs> he said he can act the way. He can. <laughs> he, he, look, he, he did a movie, Juice, and he started being thug life. Mm-hmm. But before Juice, he was hanging with Humpty Dumpty all around the <laughs> uh-huh. world. Like, you know, you got to really know. His, his, people be getting, right. uh-huh. like, when you talk the history of it, you be like, oh, I'm sorry. But people don't speak the facts. That's like Biggie. Man, you wasn't really, like, and because you... Sold drugs in the street does not make you a gangster. You went to private school. Mm-hmm. You didn't really, you didn't really go through too much, right? And because you sell drugs does not make you a street dude or a gangster, right? Mm-hmm. I know people that sold drugs and never went to jail and and don't even claim themselves a gangster. They were just doing what they had to do, right? Mm-hmm. So like you know, 
So like people just like like kind of portray a certain a certain I'm like persona. Right. But I really think Jay Z did everything he did. Yeah, I don't put it past him. Like Jay Z, like he, he never even portrayed the best street dude. He told you he hustled. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he everything he talked about having everything you can go back and see the receipts. Right. That's why I like. That's why I give Jay Z a one up on him. But but like when I was young, I'm like nah. Mm-hmm. You know, like being in New Orleans, we kind of stuck with only New Orleans. Like you know, right. kind of mm-hmm. with no limit. Had they, you know, at that time it was no limit. Mm-hmm. Cash money had it. It's cash money. Mm-hmm. And that's and that's and that play a big part in my music too because I don't make I don't make New Orleans music right because I don't want to be stuck. And I also consider my media coming like I created a name for Nolazine, but I always make sure I put artists from around the world. I make sure I reach right. out to artists. I make sure because like I can't help artists down here. If I'm only promoting New Orleans artists, that means I'm only got a New Orleans following. Right. So if mm-hmm. I want a New Orleans following, you can do that yourself. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, you can promote yourself for that. Mm-hmm. Like, the whole goal is to get on a media company is to get more exposure. Mm-hmm. And, but not to get exposed around your city, which you could just go walk up Canal and Bourbon and do it yourself. <laughs> I'll be honest with uh-huh. people. Like, you know, everybody was like, oh, man, these blogs. Like, like they're blogs. I'm a media company. I'm trying to be the source. I'm not trying to be, say, cheese academic. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, I don't think people get, like, it's like kind of like how you feel like you, like, and you can't put you in a certain category. Like, you're not a singer, you're not a rapper. Mm-hmm. You're a music artist. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm a multimedia platform. Right. I'm, uh-huh. not a, I'm not a blog. Like, I don't cover gossip or what going on did. Right. Blogs uh-huh. does that. I'm, but I'm going to search stories up and putting it out that you never even heard about, like, writing articles on people that some people didn't even know about. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, but I feel like, if yeah, that's real... I'm like journalism. Right. Blogging is, you know, you kind of posting like, you know, if you like if a person really sit back and think about a blogger, all the bloggers really post the same thing. Yeah, they do. They post the same thing. Like it, it, and like all my, you know, like if I have three Nola Zine pages, but I try to separate it all and try to make it all look different. Mm-hmm. But like I try to make sure that people don't think I'm a blogger. Mm-hmm. But it's also the same way how you know. It but how it but kind of how like you probably make one song rapping, then you come back with a singing song mm-hmm. because you don't want to be, I'm like stuck, mm-hmm. and you also don't want to kind of rap about things that's going on in New Orleans because you will be labeled as a New Orleans right. artist. Mm-hmm. So yeah, mm-hmm. I fully get that too. Gotcha. So, so I'm like, what's next for you? Uh, really, I'm a I'm no because I kind of went on a little break before I had dropped. Um, and before I had dropped Do You Care, I was just going through, um, I had told my ACL back in, back in July, uh, I had to get surgery in August, and in that same month, um, uh, my cousin, she had died, so, you know, while, while I was going through therapy, you know, it was, it was just a lot, you know, grieving with her dying, and then, still trying to get back to where I could walk and stuff like that. So it took me a little minute to drop something, but, but, and it's crazy. Do you care? I made that song probably like about what, what date was the first? Of the April? Yeah. I don't know what day of the week it was. No, 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 because I'm saying like the first, I probably. It was a Monday? Was it a Monday? Yeah, it was a Monday. All right. So so if I so if I drop Do You Care on a Monday, I had to just do that song that last Tuesday. I recorded that song the last Tuesday, but I liked it so much that I'm like, you know what? I need to I'm put it ju- out now. Yeah, I'm gonna just put that out and then just push it. 